Hello and welcome to the Wild Embossing Powder channel. I am Sasha here with another episode of Card Makers Delight. So today I'll be showing you some clear embossing powder magic. It's so spectacular so let's get into it. Okay so we'll start with an A5 sheet of Wild Embossing Superior cardstock. We should be able to get two mini slimline cards from this one sheet. We'll also be using the newly released Time Traveller Trio, but just the primary fossil and the royal purple. Of course, this is a clear embossing powder magic video, so we're going to need some clear embossing powder. So to get started, we're just going to ink up our card using our slow drying embossing ink from our embossing powder, of course. So once our panel is nicely inked up, we're going to go ahead and add our royal purple color, but in little patches just to create a pattern sort of. Um, you can use a spoon if you need it, but I find that just slightly tapping the bottle does the trick. So we'll go ahead and add our primary fossil color in the same exact way and just try and fill up those patches as much as we can. It's not necessary to fill all the patches and cover them up, we're just going to fill up as much as we can. And once that's all done, go ahead and heat emboss your panel. Okay, so that is all done and you can see it's beautifully glossy already. So we're just going to go ahead and re-ink that and then add some clear embossing powder to it. So we're going to heat emboss it as we normally would, just straight up adding heat to it and watching it melt. And then we'll go back in and add more heat to a certain area. Just do it area like bit by bit. Like choose a patch and focus the heat on it and you'll start to see this effect like a blooming flower i like to call it flowering because that's what it looks like to me it looks like a blooming flower but we're going to use this to create like a really moody sky and all you're doing is just focusing the heat on a certain area So whilst the panel is still warm and sticky, I'm going to go ahead and add more purple to it and that embossing powder will stick to the already molten embossing powder that's on the panel without me having to add more embossing ink. Then I'm going to go ahead and heat it up and allow it to merge with the other embossing powders. It's absolutely up to you how long you spend working on your panel. I spent about 6 minutes and this is how it came out looking. So I really love that gloss, like I hope the camera is catching that beautiful gloss, just look at all of that and I really love the detail, I think it looks perfectly moody and spooky. So I just wanted to show you something quickly, if you do want to make a Halloween card you can just take a die cut and place it over that, a nice floral die cut or you can die cut into the panel and do a nice inlay technique that could also work and create some different backgrounds. But today we're making spectacular cuts so let's go ahead and trim our panel at 3.5 inches twice so that we have two panels that measure 3.5 and 5 and 3 quarter ish is just a bit short of 6 inches. A normal mini slimline card is 3.5 inches by 6 inches but we'll make up that 6 inches because we're going to add a matting layer later. Okay so I've got a scrap piece of card and some double sided adhesive sheet. I'm going to stick that to it and then die cut Oh, the word spooky using this dye from Picket Fence Studios and to that I am going to add some copper fire sparkles oh my gosh just look at that beautiful sparkle I love it so much even though it means I'm going to have glitter fingers for the rest of the day I don't care it's so pretty let's just 
take a moment to appreciate how beautiful sparkles are and these are also from wow embossing powder they're just beautiful glitters so you can get them i will link them in the description below i'll then die cut a ghost from this set here which i will emboss in some bright white ultra high embossing powder now this is the chunky stuff because it gives us that beautiful texture once it is heat embossed then after that we're just going to cut a sliver off our panel so that it fits on a 3.5 by six card base we're going to add a matting layer to it first but before we do that we're going to stencil in some bats now i am using some hybrid ink but i am not rubbing it like you would if you're blending it in i am like dabbing it on because if you rub it on then it won't stick to all that glossy goodness that we have on our panel so you need to dab it on we're also going to give it some heat so that that ink sticks to the embossing powder that way it won't slide off your page otherwise it will just wipe off so when you're now done with that stick your panel to the matting layer that is 3.5 inches by 6.5 inches now when i'm adding glue to the ghost i'm just adding glue to the bottom part of our ghost so that we can pop it up i'm going to show you a little trick that will make sure that our ghost permanently pops up with this card so what you do is you take a bit of tool and then you make a knot at the bottom of it and then you add glue to both sides of that knot and then go ahead and slip it under your ghost and that will make sure that that ghost now rests on that knot so it is permanently popped up of course you can use foam tape for this but i think adding that bit of tool adds some extra interest to this style of card and it's good for this style of card so once that's dry then your ghost will permanently pop up and that's pretty much the card all done i went ahead and made another one exactly the same way i did everything the same so this beautiful spooktacular pair is ready to go on some card bases i chose to do some top folding card bases so that it really makes that ghost pop out like i wanted it to look like it's jumping out of the page so i'm just going to zoom in so that we can appreciate that beautiful gloss as well as that gorgeous sparkle that we can't really see in the pictures <laughs> it's really hard to photograph all these details in the pictures but that's it for today Thank you so much for watching and please do not leave without subscribing to the channel as well as turning on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any fun technique videos. Definitely comment below what your favourite part about Halloween is and tag us on social media if you end up making any of these cards.